Do you have low progesterone? Here are the top five ways you may know you have low progesterone. First thing is we're gonna test our blood. We'll actually see under blood, whether it's a, I think it's a PG per ml is the metric we're looking at for progesterone. But we wanna look at around day 20 of our cycle. So right in the middle of the luteal phase, we want about a 15 or so on, on the blood test. That's about gonna be the heart of the luteal phase. Secondly, we have lots of PMS, whether it's breast tenderness, cramping, bloating, uh, mood, irritability. Third, we start to bleed excessively, heavy menstrual flow. This is usually from that progesterone petering out a little bit before our period, coming out a little bit sooner. And so we don't have that nice curb of progesterone and that drop, it kind of peters out like this and that can cause a lot of excessive bleeding, okay? Number four, it's gonna create issues with mood and relaxation. Progesterone is a natural GABA chloride channel opener. So it's like you're a natural benzo, if you will. So it helps relax you. So if you're having a hard time relaxing, that's a big issue out of the gate. And then last but not least, I would say fertility. Progesterone is progestational. It's the sticky glue to help that egg bind into that endometrial or that uterine lining, if you will, right? It helps bind it to that lining. And so if that egg can't stick, that sticky glue, that progesterone is vitally important. So if you wanna dive in deeper, there'll be links down below or above where you can get tested and see if that's an issue for you.